out loud, nerdlytv.co.uk. We are back. We are still in the Romford Film Festival. Um, we have just seen some shorts, uh, some very powerful shorts with some very hopeful endings and shorts with a message. Uh, and here we are with Carsten Woik, one of the directors of the short movie, The Online Shop, which I'm really interested to get into. And we'll talk about that in a minute, Carsten. But how are you anyway? How are you, are you happy to be in Romford? Yes, it's really nice. I live in a hotel in Gidea Park and uh, the small houses and the small shops and the parks. It's very nice. I uh, love the UK. <laughs> I love the UK. There's not a lot of people say that. <laughs> but um, we're going to get into the online shop in a quick hot minute. But first of all, I want to know a little bit more about Carsten. How, how did Carsten get into, into directing, filmmaking? What was the journey for you? And why would you do it? Yeah, we all know these biographies of great directors mm. who started uh, with Super 8 millimeter, uh, shooting on Super 8 millimeter movies, action movies, thriller mm -hmm. movies, horror movies. And uh, uh, so um, I was one of them. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a great director now, but... Uh, uh, I think you're selling yourself a features. little bit short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, when you make short films as a filmmaker, it's always i think uh, uh very often a business card right yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. because um i was not on a film school uh, i make commercials uh it's interesting for money. which are basically little short yeah. movies you know yeah short movies but um i always wanted to make make uh, feature films and i make short films to show what you the, can do the craft the talent yeah. uh, in a way uh so Maybe I can show the films on film festivals. There is no other way to show uh, short films. Uh, okay, you put it on, on, on some streaming platforms yeah. nowadays, and it's easier than uh, 10 years ago, I think. But um, it's still heavy to, to uh, mm. uh, sell and, and short on, films. On the, on the come up through your filmmaking career and your filmmaking journey, and um, what what kind of what kind of films inspired you? What kind of films did you look at? And you're like, that's kind of what I want to do. That's where I want to be. Yeah, um, the classics, uh, <laughs> Jaws, <laughs> Back to the Future. Uh, because I think Jaws is not a, a horror movie. I think it's a chamber play. Yeah, yeah. Because it's on uh, on a very um, <clears throat> intense way, very very. Uh, uh, um, a small location on that boat mm -hmm. and uh, uh, surely then the, the yeah the masters uh, Wolfgang Peterson for example yeah. the never ending story uh, love the never -ending international story. films he yeah. was one of the greatest so um, yeah I, lo I love the never ending story we showed, we showed a movie um I think it was on Wednesday night um Jim Button and the Wild, Wild 13 yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's Absolutely. like that. That is supposedly it's a prequel to the Never Ending Story, or it was made by the same people that no, made no, the Never Ending Story. No, it's from the same same author. Uh, same Michael author. Ende, uh, um, I didn't get a chance to watch it, but I really wanted to. Yeah, but the Never Ending Story is from 1984. Uh, yeah. And uh, I watched it, I think, 20 times in the theater with my father, and uh, that's that was the point when when I thought I, I, I had a book. I, I have to do this. Yeah. Uh, 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 I, I either have to do this. Yeah. So uh, uh, I had a, a book uh, uh, about the making of mm -hmm. and the process, and um, there were uh, there were a lot of special effect people from England from the Star Wars movie, and uh, they all came to uh, Bavaria to, nice. to Munich uh, to make this film. And it was uh, uh, at this time at eighty three it was the most expensive film mm -hmm. uh, of Germany I think uh, forty million pounds or something um, and uh, it was so interesting for me so all the, the, the uh, art uh, yeah. uh, team uh, uh, who make all the sculptures or, or uh, uh, the painters or the set designers or the the international actors mm -hmm. and uh, everything came together uh, the trouble with the author mm. <laughs> <laughs> so he wasn't happy uh, with that film and um, <clears throat> yes uh, 
but everything was was so interesting for me that I, I thought I want to be part of this process. I want to be uh, uh, I, I want to make things uh, that um, evaluates feelings. Yeah. yeah. Um, I like that. At, a, at an audience. I like that. So um, you had all those people came came over and, and they were making the never ending story and you got to see all these different fa uh, facets of the movie making business. Yeah. What's, what's your favorite part of movie making or was it always you wanted to be a director first and foremost or do you have a, a particular thing during the filmmaking process that you like, I just love this bit? Honest answer? Yeah. The editing. The editing. Excellent. <laughs> because Connor. the shoot, so so many things uh, can go wrong. The weather. Yeah. Um, the actors, the actresses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, everything. So it's uh, uh, when 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 you have every, everything on your, uh, um, yeah. Now now on your on your uh, drive. <laughs> drive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Today, uh, I'm really happy because I know. Uh, now it's only me and yeah. the computer and the editing program, and uh, I like so I, I, I'm 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 a writer. Uh, I was a writer of of the online shop and director and editor, and uh, so I was really happy when I saw when I watched the the uh, mm -hmm. material. So I thought, okay, now I, I can I can mix everything. I can put everything together. The, the sound effects, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the the. Uh, uh, the pictures, uh, uh, the play, the acting, um, and um, yeah, I, 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 before the, the the preparation of 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 the film was was really hard and heavy. Yeah, I can uh, imagine. I can imagine. Yeah, we had uh, German film funding, and it's a very hard way to to get this funding. <laughs> <laughs> a very very hard way, and we started one year ago or something. And I was I was so nervous one week uh, uh, before uh, filming. There was a storm in uh, uh, this little city, Gandakazi. Right. Uh, so um, we we wanted to shoot the next weekend, and and a lot of people uh, uh, wouldn't have tra uh, traveling. Mm -hmm. uh, Traveling what wouldn't be possible uh, uh, for for a lot of uh, uh, costume designer or yeah. something uh, or someone else, um, and so I was so nervous uh, I couldn't sleep uh, <laughs> for many 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 nights. And uh, when we wrapped up this thing, I was so happy that uh, I thought, okay, now nothing can go wrong. Uh, I have the material, mm -hmm. I can edit, and I have all the time in the world. I have no yeah. deadline or something. <laughs> I like that. I like so, that. Uh, uh, not like a commercial or so. Uh, no, no, I like that. I like that. I, I, I was really happy then. Uh, and uh, that was my favorite part the, the editing. Yeah. Editing is cool. I do like editing. It's where the story comes together, isn't it? It's where no it, weather, it's no a, rain, yeah. no cold. It's putting the pieces together, and, and yeah, I know what you mean. So um, the online shop, it's a fascinating shop. It's a, it's, a, it's a shop that I didn't know anything about this kind of thing. I, I didn't know this was a thing. Um, and I know I've already asked you downstairs in the Q&A, but just for our viewers now and, and um, people listening, where did you find this story and, and how did you come across it and, and how much research did you have to put into it? Yeah, I've read an uh, article. Uh, in a German uh, news magazine, yeah. uh, Spiegel Online, and um, it was about a young woman from Poland who invented uh, uh, this fake store, uh, a supposed website for skincare products. Yeah. And um, I thought that would be a, a great short film, so um, very intense. Um, and uh, the questions in the film are the same yeah. uh, as uh, in the real uh, store. Uh, so um, I haven't heard about this, these fake stores, but uh, I have heard about these uh, signal code uh, words. Mm -hmm. Or there's, a, there's a, a secret hand sign. I think this is a hand sign yeah. for women on the street uh, who are in a threatening, threatening situation or something. Or, um, 
uh, at a bar in Germany, you can uh, uh, ask as a woman, you can ask the bartender, is Luisa here? Yeah. And Luisa, the name, uh, because of uh, uh, this name is clearly audible, uh, even with loud music, yeah. Yeah, Luisa. So, yeah. And there's a sim similar uh, uh, word in, in the UK, I think, Angela. Angela. Is it? Um, so um, the barkeeper can can get help. Can can get help. So, so for the people watching, um, and I'll I'll quickly run through like sort of a, a little synopsis. It's uh, the online shop is about um, a domestic abuse situation, and the lady in the movie is on the internet, and she goes into a, an online an online shop, yep. and if you order certain things, it's like a it's it's a cry for help. Really, it's it's I'm in trouble. Someone please help me. And then the chat comes up, and she's able to speak to someone and get the help she needs, basically. Um, if if that happens, all the while her husband's around, which just adds so much tension. Thank you. <laughs> and I just honestly watching that show, I was on tender hooks the whole time. Like, is he is he going to come over when she's typing? What's what's going to happen? I, I, I really didn't like that situation at all, but I guess that's exactly what you were going for. And at the end, you can see the, the blue spot yeah. on the arm. Just and you know, then you, you, you so get the it's, uh, a, it's a little bit like a twist. You so. get the idea of what's going on. It's um, how did you go about casting for this? Because it's quite an intense role. Uh, Michaela Schaffrath, she's uh, a well-known uh, actress in in, in Germany. And uh, she moved to Bremen, mm -hmm. uh, and we we uh, uh, shot very close to Bremen, a very very yeah. small city uh, named Ganderkasi. And uh, I, I wanted to have um, a woman who ha has uh, a, a natural uh, normality, uh, mm -hmm. natural beauty, and uh, so. Um, I don't. It it. Some filmmakers uh, maybe uh, would have um, taken another choice. So, um, filming uh, or located, uh, maybe they they um, they would have located the, the story in another envi environment, in yeah. another milieu, in a precarious milieu yeah. or something. Yeah. But I didn't want that because um, um, maybe someone can say, okay, I, I uh, uh, would tell uh, that these problems of domestic violence mm -hmm. are only in this environment, are only in this right. milieu. And so I wanted to have an uh, upper middle class family uh, a, a teacher's household yeah. uh, where you didn't expect the problem of yeah. domestic violence. And so you see a, a happy family at the beginning. And uh, after some minutes, you think, oh, something is wrong here. Something uh, uh, is, is um, yeah, maybe not, not working here. Or, yeah. or, 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 but you don't know. You can cannot spot, uh, uh, spot it. And, it, uh, it's one of those things that like um, it's the old, the old saying of uh, how the other half lives. Uh, we we don't really know how the other half lives, but you're showing that it's not necessarily as great as a, it could be. It's a know? surprise at the end, yeah. and and uh, it's a twist uh, in a way. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I think it's important for the film to have the the uh, happy the supposed happy family, yeah. um, and uh, then. Uh, uh, this world, uh, this world is destroying or something, yeah. Yeah. Um, how long did it take to shoot this? Was it uh, like a couple of days? Because it's kind of like a, a closed kind of thing, but how long did it take to shoot this shot? Uh, two days. Two days? One weekend. Yeah, we have uh, for preparation the Friday and then Saturday uh, and Sunday. Uh, we have a shooting. That's mad. That's mad. And uh, with with a shoot as quick as that, and and as intense as that would be, because your lead actor, 
quite very good. He's very yeah. good, <laughs> and he does get your head yes. into his space. Definitely, yeah. kind of you kind of think he's a really nice guy, but obviously. But then again, you might be, but odd. well, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, you have to plan very good when you have no money. Or yeah, exactly, to, exactly. Uh, make a short film. Everything is really, really uh, expensive. The light, yeah. uh, uh, the people, uh, so um, the whole crew. Um, would, would you, as a filmmaker, ever be interested in exploring this story a little bit further in terms of maybe expanding it into a feature or another story kind of like that? Because I'm sure there'll be lots of stories around that are kind of the same. Yeah, I know a lot of, of short films uh, uh, um, are uh, uh, moving into into features, but yeah. I don't know if this is uh, if, if this would be work for this short mm -hmm. film because I think the short form is very good for for this short story. Yeah. I don't want it to tell a, a, a soap opera <laughs> or no, something. No, 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 uh, I wanted to tell only this short story, and uh, uh, I think it's. Uh, it's very good. Nice contained story. It, it, it fits yeah. very good, yeah. uh, this story for, for this short form. And um, I don't know, you have to um, invent another uh, story, a uh, greater story, uh, uh, or more background stories. Uh, so I, I had a, a lot of, of background stories for the actors, for the characters. Yeah. Uh, um, they are not in the, in the film. Um, so his background story, uh, as a teacher, I want, I want to uh, see so that. He has I a want power. To, in, I, want, I want to know in, why his he's... job, and he brings this power uh, to uh, to his private life, to his family. Yeah. And uh, maybe they were uh, uh, a happy couple before, and they were traveling a lot, uh, and and uh, uh, and then uh, he he's very obsessed with Magellan. Mm -hmm. Everywhere uh, are these uh, uh, sea. Uh, uh, Cards, <laughs> this, 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 uh, this maps on the wall uh, from Magellan, from his from his original ships right. and everything. And um, you went right back, didn't you? You've built a whole universe for these people, and you've only shown us a small part of it. I like that. I like yeah, that a lot. the present is a Magellan book, and it's very important for him. Not so for his daughter, but yeah. it's it's more important for him that that uh, he likes this present, and and you you can. You can maybe you it's it's uh, um, I've never thought about it. Maybe it, it could be a feature, but uh, I have I have other projects. I'm I like working it. On. I like it as is. I like it where it is. I like this little contained thing that we can get invested in really quickly and and be on edge the whole time, and then just come out of it. And that's that's us. You know, we've, yeah, yeah. we've learned something. <laughs> yeah. So talking about other projects, what 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 do you have next? What are you working on? Anything you're act actively working on? Well, I have a folder of uh, <laughs> a lot of ideas um, in, in uh, uh, different uh, degrees. Yeah. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, sometimes it's a coincidence. Mm -hmm. So some people come together, some crazy mad people come yeah. together and the constellation fits and uh, then one idea uh, wins the competition. So uh, I have two or three uh, concrete projects I'm working on. Nice. And uh, yeah, sometimes um, you never know what, what constellations uh, comes up and uh, sometimes it's really a coincidence what project mm. you, you make uh, as your next. Just, um, just got to let the project pick you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So on that, Carsten, I'm, uh, I'm going to let you go. Um, taking up too much of your time. This has been fantastic. I've enjoyed talking to you. Again, thank you. thank you so much for submitting the movie to us. Thank you for letting us show it. Thank you for being here. That's the most important part, just to have you here and do these kind of things. Um, if you just want to let people know where they can find you online, your project online, or social media, or anything like that, just where they can find your movies. Yeah, I'm on uh, Instagram and uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, on Facebook. So yeah. uh, uh, and and I have a website, but yeah. And, and, and thanks for showing my film. Thanks for inviting oh, me. It's... Thanks for selecting my film. It's brilliant. Uh, I, uh, it's a really great festival. We, we try, we try, we do try. Thank but uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna round out with one last question because we did talk about Never Ending Story a little bit, and yes. that's just brought my childhood right back. Um, What's your favorite movie of all time? 
the never earning story. <laughs> 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 I have so many. I, I cannot. Uh, I cannot say what's the one. Mm. Uh, I like. Um, The Muppets Take Manhattan. It's, nice. it's, it's really a, a great film about so, show business because very you make overlooked. A, a project with your friends yeah. uh, for free <laughs> or work for free. Mm -hmm. Then you uh, have trouble with your friends. He's a clever man. They divide. <laughs> Everybody divides and goes you know, in, in different directions. And at the end, you have a success. You come together yeah. again. Uh, <laughs> and this is why it's, for me, the, the uh, perfect uh, uh, movie uh, for, for, for the show business. Uh, I love that show, show business. Or I have uh, Shadows and Fog uh, by, yeah. by uh, Woody Allen. It has a great, intense atmosphere. It's, I, I, I love films with great atmosphere. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, it shows. I, I love the it, shining. It, it shows in your shot. There's a lot of atmosphere there. <laughs> I, I try my best uh, to put atmosphere in my films, but uh, yeah, uh, sure, the Kubrick movies, uh, mm. uh, Shining, and uh, I love Shining. It's, it's a great, uh, great movie, and um, yeah, there are a lot of films, the Hitchcock movies. So I cannot say. Uh, what's the one? Uh, <laughs> we'll the just go winner. never end the story. Then. Uh, <laughs> it would be unfair to all the other great classics. Well, well that's the thing as well. Uh, we we say what our favorite films are, and then somebody asks us the next day, and it's changed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but there are also uh, a lot of uh, um, good movies nowadays. Some I think Tar movie. was a great movie. With oh, the Cape Blanchett, yeah. Cape Blanchett. Yeah, yeah, wonderful yeah. movie. Uh, that, was... that was the last movie I watched in in, in the cinema, and, and, and I was really I was I was surprised by that one. I, quite, I did quite like that. It was partially uh, 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 shot in Berlin. Oh, nice. Well, that's why you like it then. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, Kate Bennett was was really great. <laughs> She's brilliant. She's brilliant. Yeah, really cool. But um, again, thank you so much for doing this. Thank you for the interview.